dividend cover. Equity is one of the sources of funding. When an individual or an entity invests in equity of another business, they expect returns in the form of dividend. The dividend is paid dependent on profit, unlike the debt which must be paid irrespective of whether it is generated or not. Then the dividend is the last payout. The payment to debt holders is mandatory and it takes precedence over the dividend payment that is the returns to the equity holders. When we talk about dividend cover, we are talking about the, the risk with dividend payment to the equity holders of a business. It looks at the frequency, the number of times that a business's current net profit or income can pay its existing dividend. So if you're looking at month, we'll talk about the number of months. If it is the quarter, talk about the number of quarters. If it's a year, the number of years, depending on the calculation. It also tells of a business's capacity to handle equity investment it has received. If the business is unable to pay the dividend, then it means that the amount of money that they have received, they don't have the capacity to invest to generate a higher return enough to pay the dividend quoted on it. Lastly, it tells of a business's financial condition because if you are unable to pay for your dividend, it tells of a, a bleak future. Okay, what is the tendency that you are going to exist or continue to produce profits to pay those who are concerned? Let's look at the importance of the dividend cover. So here, investors will be able to identify businesses that they will be comfortable to invest in. If the cover is enough for them, they go in. If not, they find other places. It also tells us management what they should be looking out for when going out for equity investors. If they will not be able to foot their returns on the investment, then they have to exercise patience in floating shares. The challenges with dividend cover is that cash flow is a better indicator than profit. But profit is what is being used here to adjudge whether a business will be able to cater for its return on equity. Lastly, as mentioned earlier, that this cover can tell a story of the future outcome of a business. That might not necessarily be so because a business might be experiencing a one-off situation now, but it might come out of it in the future. That is how come it is ideal for this analysis to be done over a period of time. Let's look at the formula for dividend cover. Now we know there are two main types of dividend. One paid to the preference shareholders, which is the preference dividend. One paid to the ordinary or common shareholders. The preference shareholders is a combination of debt and equity. In as much as they are investing into the shares of the business, their structure is such that they are supposed to be paid periodic amounts and that amount should take precedence over the common or ordinary shareholders. In certain situations, the dividend must be paid whether profit is generated or not. So when we want to analyze the dividend cover for preference shareholders, it's going to be the profit for the year or the net income in certain situations. Then we divide by the preference dividend that has been quoted. Okay. When we come to the ordinary shareholders, because it is the last of the shareholders and the last in the line of every payout, it's going to be the profit for the year deducting the preference dividend that was quoted before we divide by the amount of ordinary dividend okay when we analyze this as a general term rule a cover of two and above is what every business should be targeting 1.5 and below is a great concern any ratio of above one is considered okay but just hanging around the average metrics is not good enough it should be above a certain level for investors to have confidence in your activity now when you have a cover of above one let's say above 1.5 above two it means that the business was able to generate enough profit which will be able to cover the dividend also it means that the business will be able to pay its current dividend once you have profit then the business has the capacity to engage whatever funds they have collected from the equity holders and generate enough profit and pay them the dividend and lastly the business is highly solvent it has the potential of existing in the foreseeable future if the cover is below one it means that the business has reduced profitability. It could also mean that a business cannot pay out a dividend because profit must be generated first. Then the dividend comes out. If the dividend is close to how much you are generating, then it will not even be declared in the first place. Thirdly, 
the money that they received might be outside the capacity of the business. They receive more funds, but you don't have what it takes to invest in certain ventures to bring in more returns. This shouldn't be analyzed in isolation. It has to be looked at in a certain trend to make the analysis. And last, the business might be facing certain solvency challenges in the future. Okay, let's take some understanding. UW Council has the following information for the year ended 31st December 2021. So they have the profit before tax, $1 million, the corporate tax rate of 20%, the dividend to preference shareholders, $50,000, the dividend to common shareholders, $75,000. So let's calculate and analyze the dividend cover for DW Consult. So to do that, let's restate the formula. So it's profit for the year divided by preference dividend. When we do that, we are going to get a dividend cover of 16 for the preference shareholders which was arrived at by profit for the year of $800,000. We'll explain how we got that very soon. Divided by the $50,000 quoted for preference shares. So the profit for the year of $800,000, we achieved that by subtracting the tax out of the profit before tax. The tax was $20,000. We got that by multiplying the rate of 20% on the profit before tax. Now we come to an ordinary dividend or a common dividend. The formula is profit for the year lessen the preference dividend that was quoted before we divide by the ordinary dividend or the common dividend. So when we work that out, you're going to get a dividend cover of 10. This is as a result of lessing the $50,000 of preference dividend from the $800,000 profit for the year before we divide by the $75,000 ordinary dividend. Okay. 